Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got seven more easy shiny hunts for you to do in your copy of the Indigo Disc. So kicking off today's video, the first hunt is going to be for Esper and Meowstic. These two sidekick type Pokemon are available and there is a brilliant location for you to shiny hunt them in the coastal biome. Once you arrive in the coastal biome, head over to this beach area and to these NPCs sitting at this table. Then just turn around and head away from the shore and slowly move to a point until you can set up a picnic. Once you reach this point in your game, drop a save and set up a picnic and make a sandwich, giving you the spot sparkling and encounter power level 3 the psychic type pokemon i use the recipe of one cucumber one pickle three onions and two spicy herba mystica but more recipes are available in the description if you want examples for mixing and matching herba mystica and other ingredients for the same results now once you've made this sandwich you'll have 30 minutes to take advantage of this sparkling and encounter power that you've set up and we'll be using for this shiny hunt the picnic respawn method simply take down your picnic from this spot and across the beach in front of you and to the side of you you will see spawns of esper and meow stick in the surrounding areas you will have to pan around around these areas in front of you and to the side to check to see if the shiny is spawned in or not. You can also utilize the zoom function on your switch to get a better look at the Pokemon that have spawned in as the espers can be quite small. The shinies for all of these Pokemon are pretty easy to spot. Esper is a very vibrant pink color to its normal gray looking color and Meowstic is a gold and white color opposed to its normal blue and white coloration. You will get a good amount of spawns each time you despawn and respawn these Pokemon on the field using the picnic method, setting up your picnic to despawn everything on the field and taking it down to get new ones in. So finding the shiny shouldn't be too difficult. I got pretty lucky and managed to get two shinies in the first sandwich I set up using this method. So hopefully this yields similar results for you, but if you don't get the shiny in the allotted 30 minutes you get from setting your sandwich up, then just reset your game and repeat the whole process again until you do manage to find the shiny. There are two variations to Meowstic. You have the male variation and the female variation. So if you're wanting both of them, you're going to have to catch two espers, one female and one male. This might be pretty difficult if you are going for just one of these variations. In this same location, we can also hunt for Piggy Peck and one of the best shinies available in the Indigo Disc, giving us two cannon. Using the same picnic method for this hunt as we did for the Esper and Meow Stick. On the beach location, just north of the NPC sitting on the table by the shore. Drop a save before starting this and this time make a sandwich gives you the encounter and sparkling power level 3 for flying type Pokemon. The recipe I used was one tomato, one onion, one green pepper, one hamburger, two prosciutto and one bitter and one sour herba mystica. Again, examples for other recipes will be down in the description if you want to mix and match ingredients and herba mystica. Once you have set this up, take down your picnic and scan the beach for spawning peaky pecks and trumbeaks. You may want to use your switch's zoom function again to look at each of these newly spawned in Pokemon on the field in front of you a better spot if the shiny has spawned in or not. Peaky Peck is an easy shiny to spot due to its head feathers being more pink than the regular red coloration and Trum Beak has a purple beak rather than its regular orange coloration. If no shinies spawn in simply set up your picnic to despawn everything on the field and take it down again to get new spawns to check for the shiny and repeat this method until you manage to get the shiny Peaky Peck or Trum Beak onto the field. Once you do, again, make sure to drop a save before encountering the shiny. And once you've caught it, you'll be able to level it up to cannon, which evolves at level 28. So catching it in the Indigo Disc is going to be a much higher level than this. So using one or two red candies, depending if you caught Pika Peck or the Trumbeak, to get one of the best shinies into cannon that is now available in the Indigo Disc. Next, we'll be going after Magby and Magmar. And to hunt these Pokemon easily, you can head to this spot in the southern area of the coastal biome, just next to the wall divide between it and the savannah biome. If you travel from the savannah rest area too and head directly north to this location, it will take you to this cave entrance, which we are looking for. Once outside the cave, drop a save and set up a picnic and make a sandwich which gives you the encounter and sparkling power level 3 of fire type Pokemon. 
The recipe I used for this one was one cucumber, one pickle, three red peppers, and two sour herb mystica. Once this is done, take your picnic down and head into the cave until you reach this opening at the end of the tunnel. You want to position yourself just before the entrance to this cavern. If in the correct spot, you will see Magby and Magmar spawning on the far side of the cave. Once no more are spawning in, send your lead Pokemon out onto the field and activate the synchronize function. Once this is activated, you want to take your synchronized Pokemon out of the tunnel area and to the point where you see the coastal biome text appearing on your screen and cancel out of the synchronized function which will return you to your player character. And by doing this you're going to be despawning everything in the cave where you are located so new spawns can come in. It's a really quick way of being able to despawn everything that isn't a shiny so more can spawn in giving you better chances of a shiny spawning in as for the period of time that you have your sandwich powers activated. If no shiny spawn in just keep repeating this method of activating your synchronized Pokemon, running out of the cave, canceling it, coming back to this point, checking the new spawns in and repeating until the shiny does appear. I got pretty lucky in this hunt and something that I've never had happen to me in Scarlet and Violet before, but I had two Magbees spawning in at the exact same time onto the field when doing this hunt. So two for one for me. So I hope this luck translates over to your hunt if you're going for either the Magby or the Magmar in this location. The electric counterparts to Magby and Magmar are up next with Ellie Kid and Electabuzz. These electric types have a great isolated spot to shiny hunt them and it is located in the canyon biome. You want to first head to the Canyon Rest Area Fly Point. On this Highlands area, once you fly in, you want to head out to this outer edge just beside the cliff's edge where we're located here. Drop a save again and make a sandwich, this time for Sparkling Power and Encounter Power Level 3 for Electric Type Pokemon. Once done, use the Picnic Method once again to despawn and respawn the Ellie Kid and Electabuzz that are going to appear in this area that you're located in. Electabuzz is an easy shiny to spot being a very obvious orange color to its regular yellow coloration and Ellie Kid is a paler yellow to its regular more vibrant yellow. Out of the two the Ellie Kid is definitely the more difficult one to spot but you will get a lot of spawns in front of you using this method. Although they will appear in different locations around you so you will have to span around the area once you do take your picnic down you may want to use your switch's zoom function in particular to check the Ellie kids as they can be quite difficult to spot in the grass areas in front of you. But once the shiny does spawn in, make sure that you do drop the save and then catch it in whatever Pokeball you like. Cinchino and Cinchino are up next and the best location I found shiny hunting Cinchino and Minchino is here in the polar biome. The only issue with this hunt is you're going to get other Pokemon spawning in alongside it like Porygon and Smeagol. Although the majority of spawns in this area will be the Minchino and Cinchino. So you shouldn't have too many problems hunting here. Once you are in this location on the map, position yourself right next to these three snowy boulders and drop a save. Then again set up a picnic and make a sandwich this time giving you sparkling and encounter power level 3 for normal type Pokemon. Once done you will be able to take your picnic down and have 30 minutes with the increased odds to hunt for shiny Cinchino and Minchino. Both of these normal types have easy shinies to spot especially against the white surroundings of the polar biome. Cinchino is a distinct pink color to its regular gray coloration and Cinchino is a more browny gray color with purple ear insides to its regular light gray non shiny variant. Once you have your sandwich power set up you can take your picnic down and in front of you you'll see the Cinchino and Minchino spawning in two distinct areas in front of you. Just span these areas checking to see if the shiny has spawned in. Again you can use your zoom function in these locations because you are going to be quite far away from where the Pokemon are spawning and if nothing appears on the field then set up your picnic, despawn everything on the field and repeat until the shiny Cinchino or Minchino spawns onto the field. If you do catch a Cinchino you can evolve it into Minchino with a shiny stone item to get this really nice shiny Pokemon in the Indigo Disc. Next up is Skarmory for this isolated hunt for this Steel type Pokemon. 
you should head to the Canyon Biome and over to this area just to the east of the Canyon Outdoor Classroom Fly Point. Once you are here, position yourself as I have done on the screen right now on the edge of the cliff next to this bush with the big boulder in front of you. Now, once you're here, drop a save, set up a picnic and make a sandwich giving you the sparkling encounter power level 3 for steel type Pokemon. Once you have set this up, take your picnic down to start the hunt. You will see clusters of Skarmory spawning in to the sides and in front of you span around the area each time you take your picnic down to check for the shiny. It's an easy one to spot as the shiny is more yellowy silver to its regular pure silver coloration with green under its rings rather than red. If you take your picnic down and no shiny spawn in, set it up again to despawn everything on the field and repeat this process until you get the shiny spawning in on the field. Once it does, drop a save before the encounter and then proceed to catch this Gen 2 Steel type bird. Just be aware that it does have the move Brave Bird, so if you are using a false swipe user against this Pokemon, it can have recoil damage so it can knock itself out. Just make sure before you go into the encounter, drop that save. And in the same location as the Skullmory Shiny Hunt, to the east of the Canyon Outdoor Classroom, but in a slightly different location, we can go for another shiny hunt on this Highlands area. So I'm going to be positioned directly where we went for the Skullmory. It's going to be slightly further to the right of the area where we hunted for Skullmory. And you want to be positioning yourself on the edge of the cliff with these two trees directly in front of you as a reference point. Another very easy isolated hunt. Drop a save before starting, then set up a picnic and make a sandwich giving you the sparkling and encounter power level 3 for rock type Pokemon. Now for this shiny hunt, it will depend on which version of the game you have. In Scarlet, you can hunt for Craniodos up on this area, and in Violet, you can do the same hunt for Sheldon. They are both rock types, so the initial setup for both of these is using the same sandwich powers, although the Craniodos and Rampados are 100 times better shinies to go after, so a big sorry to all you Violet players. But if you do want to hunt Sheldon, you can use this exact same method for this Pokemon as well. Now, once you've set up your picnic and created your sandwich, giving you the encounter and sparkling power for rock type Pokemon, you'll have 30 minutes to do this hunt. And we will again be using the picnic respawn and despawn method. You want to just take your picnic down and you'll see clusters of Craniodos if you're in Scarlet or Sheldon if you're in Violet appearing on the field in front of you. You want to just make sure that you are checking all of these Pokemon in front of you, making sure you are spanning around to the sides and to the front of you to make sure nothing that is spawned in is a shiny. And then if nothing is, just set your picnic up, despawn everything and repeat this process until you do get the shiny Pokemon spawning in on the field. The Craniodos, as we are hunting in Pokemon Scarlet, is a very easy one to spot as it will have that red coloration to it rather than its regular blue look. And it goes without saying, but I will mention it anyway. Once the shiny does spawn onto the field, just make sure you drop a save before you encounter it, especially for the Craniodos. It does have head smash. So again, another move that can cause recoil and it can knock itself out. So just to be safe before you encounter the shiny, so not to lose it, drop that save and then proceed to get it in whatever Pokeball you feel is best for this great shiny Pokemon that's now available in the Indigo Disc. And with that, we've covered all seven easy shiny hunts for another batch of new Pokemon now available in the Indigo Disc. Let me know down in the comment section below which one is your favorite shiny out of the Pokemon that we've covered in today's video. I think if I was going to give you mine, it would have to be the Tucanon. I just love this shiny Pokemon. Just wish we get more shiny Pokemon like this design in future. Some of the ones that we've had in Scarlet and Violet have been good, but a lot of them haven't been that great at all. So Tucanon really sets the bar, I feel, for me. But let me know. Love to hear what your thoughts are on the ones we've covered today. That is everything for today's video. I hope the tips that we've covered have been helpful. Good luck in your own shiny hunts. And if it has been useful, as always, please do consider dropping a like on the video. It does really help out. And do subscribe to the channel as well to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves more importantly than anything else. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.